Hey everyone, this is Jason. I want to show you a really quick tip. Uh, if you are writing some songs, you can use OnSong obviously to write your, your song in OnSong, but sometimes when you're playing, you're not quite sure what chord you're playing. OnSong has the ability to listen for chords and then help you write your song. So first what I'm gonna do is take this uh, Yamaha Bluetooth adapter and I'm gonna plug it into our Nord piano here. Um, the important thing is obviously that you plug it in correctly. So you have the, um, and I'm going the correct way. Now this device gets powered by the MIDI port. So that's all you gotta do is plug it in and then you have to connect it in on song. Uh, so to do that, we're gonna go into our utilities menu, uh, tap on tools, tap Bluetooth MIDI, and then right there it is listed as not connected. Every time you uh, plug in your uh, MIDI Bluetooth device, you have to reconnect it. So just something to keep in mind. And now we're connected. Now what we're gonna do is go back to our settings here and we're gonna tell OnSong to listen for chords. So I'm gonna pick MIDI settings on the left and then under this listen section, we have four chords. It's turned off by default. So turn that on to all channels. And a new feature with 2019.11 is this display chord events option. So we're just gonna turn that on. I'm gonna turn everything else off because otherwise as I'm playing, my damper pedal, sustain pedal will show up on the screen. We don't want that. Uh, so we're just gonna tap done. And now all I have to do is on the keyboard, I'll play a chord. And as I play, uh, OnSong is going to display what chord I'm playing at the time. And it also does, uh, you know, bass chords too. So if I play like a B minor seven, it should be able to pick up some of that too. because you can play like a lot of stuff pretty quickly, you know, OnSong might not pick up each individual nuance. Um, but the other cool thing you could do is that if you're writing songs in the song editor, um, let me come up here and create a new song. Uh, you can use the same technique. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna come in here and add a new song and you can use the same technique to write the song. So if I'm coming over here and I have, you know, verse one, obviously I'm kind of cheating here and not putting in any of my, I'll just put a new song here. And then I can use the keyboard to play a chord and it should then insert the chord as you see as I play it into the song editor. It does do it, you know, if you hold the chord, uh, one song recognizes chords after you let go of the chord. So you can hit the E and then when you let go, it takes a look at everything that has been played in that chord. So you can actually like set up your chord if you're like, do I want an A? No, I actually want an A7. You know, and then you let go of the A7, it'll put that in there too. So you could, again, instead of typing out the chords or knowing what they are, you can play them on a keyboard, any MIDI keyboard, uh, connect it to your iPad and listen for chords.